Welcome to part two of the library's uh, database search statement series. This part deals with the idea of Boolean operators. Um, this may be a word that you haven't heard before, Boolean, uh, but it's actually a very important concept in doing database research. Um, our example, remember, are women treated fairly in the workplace? We said that this was an example of natural language, and the, uh, the problem with searching for something just like this in the databases is that the computer is going to take you seriously. If you Whatever you type in, it's going to search for. So in addition to all of the essential words like women and workplace and fair, uh, it's also going to search for all of these unessential words um, like are and treated. Um, so I don't want that. Uh, I, I just want my keywords, but I, now I have to tell the computer what to do with them. Uh, so Boolean operators are basically those words that define the relationships between the key words. What are these words to each other? And the computer, bear in mind, does not search for these words. Okay? So the Boolean operators, these words are, um, there are several of them, and these are the three main ones, and, or, and not. And again, the computer doesn't search for these words. It just tells it um, what to do with, with the keywords that you've typed in. So um, the word and, if I use this word in between two keywords, um, I'm telling the computer that I want the article to contain both of the keywords. So nursing and hygiene means that I'm going to find the articles that only mention both. Okay, only those articles that mention both. So, you know, to visualize that, this is what it looks like. I've got all the articles about nursing and all the articles about hygiene, but only where they overlap, only the ones that contain both, are going to be returned to me as matches from the database. Um, or is a little bit different. Uh, you use or in between words that you are treating as synonyms. If you don't care which one is used, uh, by the author, you would use or in between them. So global warming or climate change, it looks like this, um, would find me the articles whether they contain the words global warming or whether they contain the words uh, climate change. So either one is fine. Um, I will use or in between. The last one, not, um, is specifically designed to exclude certain terms from your search. For example, um, if I wanted articles about Washington, but not the articles about George Washington, um, I can do Washington, not George, and that way um, it will find, there's articles about Washington and article, articles about George, and the ones that overlap, the ones that contain both, are going to be excluded. They will be eliminated from the search. I'll only get the articles that mention Washington, nothing about George. So, um, for example, Teenagers or adolescents, I, those are the same thing to me, so um, I'm going to use or in between. But teenagers and volunteerism, those are not synonyms. Um, I want both of them to be present in the article, um, so I'm going to use and in between. Um, fantasy and epic, again, not, not the same thing. Uh, I do want both of the, the words present, though, so I'll use and in between. But fantasy or science fiction, um, to me, are the same thing, so I'm going to use or to indicate that those are synonyms. Um, and then here's an example. Uh, it, you don't just have to use one Boolean operator. Whatever words you're looking for, um, you can use as many as you want. And with Boolean operators in between, um, you know what relationship they have to each other. So fantasy or science fiction, not Tolkien, is going to find me either fantasy or sci-fi in every article, and then exclude the ones that also mention Tolkien. So the last part of this is, these were our key words, remember, that we decided to go with from, the, from our example. So putting Boolean operators um, simply means that I'm going to put ORs in between each synonym, and then AND in between each different concept. So, um, so far, this is what our example looks like. Remember, this is what we're going for. So we're not quite there yet. The next part of this is a function, um, two functions, phrase searching and nesting. So come back for part three, and if you have any questions, please let us know.